Minister for Gender, Labor and Social Development, Mary Karoro Krut, has been the eye of the storm. Members of the Buganda Parliamentary Caucus put her to task to explain why she ordered for the degazettement of the titles and names of traditional and cultural leaders. Your letter has abolished our kingdom, Buganda, kingdom. On 4th August 2014, Karoro wrote to the managing director of Uganda Printing and Publishing Corporation ordering the annulment of General Notice Number 303 of 2014, which listed the names and titles of the 14 officially recognized cultural and traditional leaders in the country. The degazettement would mean that Kabaka Ronald Muenda Mutebi II of Buganda, the Omukama of Munyoro Kitara Solomon Gafabusa Iguru I, Omukama Oyonyimba Kabamba Iguru of Toro Kingdom, Roth Ubimu Philip Olake Raun III of Alur Kingdom, Kamuswaga Apollo Sansa Kabumbuli of Koki Chiefdom, Omusinga Charles Wesley Mumbere of Obusinga Warenzoro, Omudingia Martin Kamia of Obudingia Wabwamba, and other cultural leaders would immediately lose their titles. The minister explained that the action was to allow a fresh start so as to weed out imposters, passing off as cultural leaders. We as a ministry mandated, we said, how can we best safeguard the Tiwa of our traditional leaders? But lawmakers from Buganda, led by Mukono Municipality MP, Betty Namboze Bachereke, did not take this lightly. They urgently summoned Gender Minister Karoro Krut to explain. This data does not at all, it doesn't abolish any cultural leader. But some MPs were not convinced, with Cassandra North lawmaker Godfrey Lubega Bukanda getting emotional and shedding tears over the government move. Not deceive anybody to say that after writing that you withdraw the name and the title, you still hold the existence of those traditional leaders. We don't know whether all these traditional leaders abdicated their seats or we are lawfully removed from their seats. What we are seeing beyond what was written is a deeper agenda. It is then that the minister excused herself and asked to return at 4 p.m. with a proper explanation after consultations, since she was acting on the advice of the Attorney General. This government is a government that listens, and we believe in dialogue. As they waited for the minister, time took a toll on MPs like Namboze. And when Minister Karoro finally returned, 45 minutes late, she profusely apologized and announced that she had withdrawn the letter ordering the degazettement of the titles of the 14 cultural and traditional leaders. Since this very well-intended step has been largely misinterpreted, I am withdrawing my communication. But the Bagwere will have to wait a little longer to know their rightful king, as the Ikumbania Bishop John Wayabire has been stripped of his title. The Ikumbania might not appear because there is still conflicting issues. Debate rages on whether government restored cultural institutions for political expedience. It was sparked off by recent events in the Renzo rural region that saw over 90 people killed in what security agents say were tribal clashes. Shiland Wuchire, NTV Parliament.